What's good, YT? It's your boy Wayne the Order is back here with another ill reaction, man. Listen, subscribe, like, comment, baby. Today we got a good one, man. You know, we covering PG-13, man. Paul George, man, the one and only. That's what I do. Like, right, if you don't know who PG-13 is, man, in my opinion, he's he's one of the big, the best guards with the best, the best handles, best big guards with the best handle. Not only that, but he was one of the most competitive uh, 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 adversary series against LeBron during LeBron's prime. Paul George was you get what I'm saying? Like LeBron's prime. He was, the he was younger than Bron at the time, but he had he work. And he single-handedly put Dale, put the California. Indiana Pacers franchise on his back, you feel me? Just going to get into the details on his life story. See, that man came from Cali, Palmdale. You know, I'm not going to lie, like, I was like her side Paul George honestly probably would have won a championship within the next two or three years if he didn't have his family was a crazy uh, life game-changing injury, bro. A severe stroke, he literally a broke his leg, off, snapped his leg in half, you were at the house when it happened. playing what for Team USA, bro. It was one of the crazy injuries. Working on my gang. Playing basketball in the front yard, and, and he was able I to bounce back better, bro. Bright lights, and that was the ambulance. Him and Sean uh, uh, Livingston I had to have had one of the craziest go, injuries uh, known to sports, bro. Twice. They both and came back. She was better improved. Vegetative state. She was you know, Right now, he, he's telling y'all the backstory on his mom had a stroke. Remember how to talk. To you know, get her vision back. A stroke is a terrible thing, bro. I'm telling you, it's like a reset button, literally. Just you know, depending on which side of like your brain you have a stroke on, either the right or the left. Hemorrhage. It's called a hemorrhage. I think in uh, uh, in middle you know, school, I was playing point, and I was like, basically, basically like a reset play, button. I, mean, I could relate to, to point guard. And I, you know, I knew his experience. I'm, I'm I've seen a lot of stroke people. Kids, I know people you know, and that just came from me watching Some man, people watching bounce back, guards, you know, because they, they had a persistency and, and when motivation. I got a chance you know, but other people kind of just fall into a certain state of living. You feel me? Well, it's good to see that his mom came out of that door, man. Oh, um, black queen, you heard? It's basically making it easier on them that they can catch all the games. You know, games that man went to Fresno State. Man, if I can make it here, let's do it. I'm I was just probably even balling at Fresno State. I never followed him in college for real. Man, honestly, uh, I really grew accustomed to PG-13 in the league. And I knew, you know, once I put out a good year, Everybody going to know you when you can go against Brown, bro. I'm telling you, Brown was the man at the time. Like, he was with Miami. <laughs> they had a squad, they had Wade Bosch, I mean, Brown was, you know, had the league in his palms. And, and, and it's like, like I said, nobody really was checking for him until three seasons, two, three seasons into the, in the league. He's like, give me two, three years, I'm going to be an all-star. And this was just the became a straight problem. By his third season, one, one thing y'all don't really know about Paul George bro, is listen. He has one of the best handles as a big guard, bro. And so when I won it, like it was like Paul George has Kyrie like handles. I like literally put a lot of work in. I put a ton of work in. But it it just doesn't seem as Kyrie like because it's very tall. He's like six seven. Six, six, like six, 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 seven. But he handled the ball like a six, four guard, six, three guard. You know what I mean? And he's always had that, bro. And I say it really improved after the injury. Because he, he probably, he probably had a lot of time to dribble the ball. And um, before he even got to the Pacers, bro, that was Danny Granger's team. He, he took over this, the just team, he took over the franchise. Makes me want to continue to keep performing. You know, this is this is when right here he they took that game from from the Cavs in Cleveland. He hit the dagger. He was going crazy this game. Paul George wrote, wore Kobe number at the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was crazy. That's when Brown became number six. Yeah, he was a tough contender, bro. Leaned over and told me, you know, I was I was a big boy player. Rocky. He understands that I'm not going back there. 
He rocked Brian, looked at him, splashed him. I'm telling you, this really would have birthed for Paul George. You know, I'm around that corner. You know, that was that was enough for me. All of that stuff, all the recognition now, it's great, obviously. You see how tall Paul George is? Like LeBron height. But he handled the ball like Kyrie. Polished Paul George. In 2014, everything seemed to go in the right direction until the infamous Team USA scrimmage. A block attempt on James Harden's dunk turned his entire career into a nightmare. Paul George got hurt right there, man. One of the most horrific injuries. It was one of the most gut-wrenching Telling you it was nasty, bro. Literally snapped his leg in half. Like, take like, a break, flex, back, right? flex, straw he bin, you feel me, like, you know, and look, luckily he was able to come back from that, bro, you know what I'm saying, like, it, it was crazy, bro, I'm not gonna lie, they, they played the injury live, the injury was kind of nuts, my mom jumped on that ambulance truck with me. I needed that, honestly. Um, I was in so much pain. I was in so much disbelief. Remember the whole time she was just telling me, you're going to be okay, son. You'll come out strong. If my mom could get through what she got through, then this should be a Now that's fast. Because, you know, his mom really went through like a whole stroke for him. She was able to bounce back from the stroke, so. PG-13, like, I, I got to be able to do this. I would be in one room for about 12 to 13 hours. I had to depend on pretty much everybody at that point. You know, you know what you can do and what you can't do. The biggest part about it is it's just conquering everything with your mind. You know it's going to be tough. Nah, that's facts. It's definitely tough, bro. I'm looking forward to those days. If you ever had, like, a major injury that immobilized you, bro, like, you kind of had, like, a different respect for for just having certain simple abilities, like, I'm very appreciative of the ability to walk, man. You might be like, oh, you trying things, to be bro. all sentimental. Just, like, nah. What, 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 why are we doing I had an injury that, that put me down for three months. Just let it heal. And we can do this rehab. Where, like, where like, I couldn't, like, let it heal I couldn't really get in the car I normally. I couldn't. You see how he going down the stairs? I couldn't go down the stairs. I couldn't even go up the stairs, bro. Like, so... It really just, Nobody to me. Nobody it was the me. most first training like, time of my life, bro. Like, like, it's like, you know, imagine you just used to get in the car normally, but you can't, you gotta, you gotta slide in the car like butter or something, like, you know, like, you couldn't drive normally, you couldn't get out the car. Normally, became, I couldn't like, get out the car normally at all. It was, was tough to get out the out, car. Like, it, it just became Everything took a while to do. Like, like, you know, it's, it's one of the most frustrating things, man. Like I said, it's a real mental battle, and it makes you um, it makes you appreciate just small, small little abilities, like being able to walk. Stand, you know, like things like that, and then you also respect respect uh, those who really have handicap, people with real disabilities, bro. Like, how did you get up every day for me and go and do what they do? Cause I'm telling you, like, if you get a major injury that's going to mobilize you, boy. You not gonna like it. This when he came back, came back fresh. You know what I mean? His, his recovery back made it seem like he never got injured, bro, because he came back 10 times better. Yeah, he got way better. Handles better, shot better. Everything was better. He was more mature. He came back to his old self, averaging 23.1 points per game. I was going to put the work in, and I was going to come back better. The only thing that hurt in that moment was the window that was closed. You now that's true because he missed, he missed some years that he was supposed to be caught up to the like LeBron, uh, Melo, you feel me? It was almost like, what, like, what are we doing this for? He's really was supposed to be in that class with the accomplishments, but the injury took, took, took a lot away from him.
and Lance Stevenson left. So his first year back, it was just George Hill and Paul. And then half, half the team had got traded. G13 was about to take an unexpected turn. All-Star Weekend in New Orleans, I had the front office meet me in New Orleans. Chop it up with him, like, my agent come down. What is these trade talks like? Am I, am, am I your guy or am I not? Like, let me know. So they like, nah, we not moving you, we not touching you, like, you know, you are future, like, you're our, our centerpiece, like, so they telling me all the good stuff. So I had a phone call with them that night, and mind you, I had, at the time, the best power forward saying he wanted to come to Indy and team up with me. It was AD. He wanted to come. I bring it to the front office. They like, we can't do it, we're a small market, we can't afford that. I'm like, the best power forward wants to come play here, like, Y'all can't make that work. They didn't want to do it. I ain't even know AD wanted to go there. It's like, what, what am I doing here? Literally right before trade deadline, my agent get calls again. Like, yo, PG's on, like they saying, PG's on the markets. Teams like asking about them and they're having conversations. So all that was like strike ones and twos. And now when I hear my name in trade talks, that's strike three. Now I'm like, man. But that's the business. Right. We just had a, we just had a lunch about this. They're doing, they're doing dirty. Uh, something that you don't feel a part of. After the 2017 playoffs, George said that he wouldn't resign with the Pacers. So I called my agent like, man, what am I doing here? I called my agent like, man, get me up out of here. They don't want to win. The rumor swirled about Paul's preferred destinations as he wanted to come back to his roots in Los Angeles. The dream when I got drafted there was to be a Pacer my whole career. But things didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. It's kind of unfortunate, too, because they did all that rumor literally post injury Wizards, Rockets, all pursuing deals for Paul George. So with a lot and of people and, and in Indy, you look at that, those, those are all franchise teams. Indianapolis star, the paper, and Thunderstruck is that, the big headline. They, they knew Nobody Paul George was a bug. They wanted to make a trade for me. However, However George was traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder, forming a formidable duo with Russell Westbrook. I was really excited about playing alongside Russ. Two fiery all-stars on the same team. Something special's got to happen. I give Sam Presti a tremendous amount of credit to be a year removed from losing Kevin Durant to try to get Paul George to come play. Right, with that's facts. And Paul George the helped him city. help the Thunder stay afloat a for a minute. You heard? Huge risk in trading for me, knowing I have one year on my deal. We figured out what everyone knew. Um, this is a special team. We have special players and special abilities. You had to become a little bit of a different player. Learning how to play off the ball, learning how to space, learning how to run the floor better, learning how to be a better defender, take on that challenge on a nightly basis of guard the best offensive weapons. So coming into this league, he came, he came back, and he, like I said, he not only was improved, but he was more mature in this game. You know, Paul George. Paul George was very explosive before that injury, bro. Like he, he, he was still wanted catching to bodies. To Southern California, George also decided that he would stay with the Thunder and never arranged a meeting with the Lakers. Paul George has committed to the Thunder. Uh, he will be back next year. <laughs> I had no idea. No idea he wanted to play for LA. Wanted him to LA Lakers. All his doubters wrong. I obviously would have loved to go home. That was ideal when it when it was that time but now being here and playing alongside russ playing alongside Melo, i feel a real brother with those guys if we're here right now then where can we be next year where can we be a year after that of course la is it's home so that's that's always going to draw the attention but i'm definitely happy with that that would have been nice if uh pg-13 would have played for the lakers in the 2018 season nah, that would be crazy mvp level Averaging 28 points per game and finishing in top three in the MVP. Yeah, that's that's and when honestly, the Thunder was, was just going stupid. Like they let me be me. They let me hoop in every way possible. The dynamic duo of PG and Russ was fun and exciting to watch. Every game was highlight reel, and OKC won a lot of games. However, only in the regular season. In the postseason, due to their inconsistency and poor execution, yeah, they, they struggled. couldn't even make it out of the first round. But they I felt that I finished as strong as I could have, just knowing that you left something on the table. Even to this point now, it weighs on me. Following humiliating playoff disappointments, it was clear that the experiment failed miserably. But we knew it, it wasn't going to be an overnight 
you know, you know success, success story. Uh, uh, we was going to have to iron out some things, learn, learn each, each other, figure each other out. Some, some haters, haters felt, felt like the Paul George, George and Russell Westbrook were just a discount KD and Russ duo. All, All they remember is... Y'all ain't met playing on P, you Lillard with the Royal Wave after his epic buzzer-beating game winner in Game 5. That's when Dame ended his season. And of course, it was a bad <laughs> shot, comments in the post-game interview. I care what anybody says, that's a bad shot. An NBA player, the way the CBA works, has one chance to make a choice in their prime. Being a free agent is, is overwhelming. It's a lot of things that go into it. I'm trying to find the right fit. I hope I make right. the majority. Right, like finding a new crib. But ultimately, it's my decision, and, and I want to be the happiest. I mean, you want to get to somewhere, you're going to be I'm happy. To go for this journey. In the early morning hours of July 6th, 2019, just one year after re-signing with the Thunder, the Los Angeles Clippers shocked the NBA. Oklahoma City is trading Paul George to the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, now LA Clippers. For 29-year-old Paul, that move resonated far beyond the basketball court. I think the average fan don't understand we're humans, we have families. It's a lot deeper than you know, you know me, me coming, coming here for basketball, basketball reasons. Paul's, Paul's mom right, you got to go home. Was close to home because of her ongoing recovery. It's, it's remarkable how she's been able to recover, but I know traveling has still been hard for her. When you played in Indiana, when you played in Oklahoma City, what was the challenge for her to be able to get to games? Right, they always came to the games. You know, for my mom, it's, it's hard for her to move. And, you know, getting out of bed is tough. You know, so she had to wake up early in the morning. Catch flights, drive to the airport. It was tough on her. She never complained, but looking at it and, and watching her go through it, she, you saw the struggle. You know, it was hard for her, but that was a big part of the decision. And my mom been so supportive. She catches almost any game. Man, had to do that for my dudes, so for man. me to be able to come to her and make it a lot easy for the travel. So me, my dudes, then my dad. President, she the didn't made it through. Yeah, you know I mean. My life up into this point in my career. Hopefully, is she pushed, know, she motivated her son to make it through that injury. Let's talk about Paul George. Because I'm telling you, that injury, boy. Since you know, the spring, he had both shoulders like hanging by a thread in the last few months of last wow. season. When you sit out this long away from the game of basketball, it takes time. He's been in the league for ten years, and he has experience with this. He, that leg injury yes. suffered with Team USA. Yeah, he had never to forget come back that. I'm telling you. I fully expect it. I don't know if it takes two games for it, whatever it takes. He's going to be back, and he's going to be a gigantic part of what the Clippers do. Incorporate himself. I've been in this position before, man. I've grown so much as a player and as a person. It's my point in my career. It's only one thing I'm after. Back in office. 13 is back in office. After missing the first 11 games of the regular season, recovering from shoulder surgery, George made his Clippers debut against the Pelicans, scoring 33 points. The highly anticipated, long-awaited debut of Paul George in a Clippers uniform. He's played in one scrimmage since April. We're just going to throw him out there, you know, and see what he can give us. Off glass, and welcome to the family, Paul George. George curling off a screen, flings a three and knocks it in. Ten quick ones for that Paul George. That boy George is invincible, bro. He can't be disturbed. So you got to give him credit. He must have watched a heck of a lot of film and all that to be that prepared. Take a lot of positivity home with Paul George being out there. Not just being out there. He was the regular old Paul George that was the MVP candidate last year. Two days later, in his home debut against the Atlanta Hawks, George put up I'm telling you. He scores easy, bro. And he has a array of moves like a bag, bro. Look at that. I'm telling you. <laughs> Look at them handles. Boy George got a bag. He be putting people on skates. I'm telling you, like. Oh, y'all do y'all research on PG-13, man. But today, it begs, it begs the question, the question are, the are the Clippers legit, legit title contenders? contenders? Throughout the last four seasons, Paul George wasn't lucky. He and the Clippers, Clippers didn't have a The Clippers are, man. They just got to figure a couple things out. Every year, he was I feel like they need a consistent big man. That's what, that's what's 
Time will tell if the Clippers super team can win the NBA championship. One thing is certain, PG has always shown that no matter what happens, the most important thing is the family. And Paul George has always been consistent no matter what happens. This trade had happened and you were coming home. I'm waiting for my agent Aaron to give me a call. Uh, he gives me a call. He's like, hey, you're coming home. You made it happen. My agent, he decided to be a prankster. Let's tell, Let's tell your mom, mom like you got, you got traded, traded to Toronto. Toronto. First, First thing, thing my mom says, oh, oh boy, it's cold, cold there. there. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody on the phone just breaks, breaks out laughing. Then I jump on my mom, I'm coming home. I'm coming to the Clippers. She loves, she loves that she will yeah, see me a lot more. She will go to more games. It's a lot easier on her. Ultimately, she's staying on there. That's dope, man. everything to me because just my journey, my path, where I started So I'm a kid that came from nothing, man. I'm living out my dreams and where I'm at now. Much respect to PG-13, man, for, for perseverance, then Charlotte. This kid came and he brought everything he Get through that trash and tribulations. Yeah, I'm saying. My parents get to be in here. They have a seat there. You know, one, one of my most admired players, man. When he was on the Clippers, not the Clippers, but the Pacers. Started all the way there. And you were four growing up. So when you are there warming up, you see some kid who looks like you, little Paul, in Clippers gear. What is that going to mean knowing he could be the next kid who grows up and plays for this team? It's probably very exciting, man. This time around, hopefully they got a lot more. But y'all make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment. Until next time. I can give those kids opportunities I didn't have growing up. I can give kids hope. I was once you, and this is hopefully a shortcut I can give. I feel like it's my time to be here. It's my time to hopefully finish out my career here, be around my family. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to leave a like and comment down below with your favorite Paul George moment. Thank you for watching, and until next time.